Hi. In this tutorial, what I'm going to do is walk you through how to make a copy of and also to filter and query for your own data in PE class. Now, what I have here is a spreadsheet entitled My PE Exercise Data Student Copy. And your teacher will either send this out to the Google Classroom or put it on Schoology for you to make a copy of. So like normal Google Apps, you're going to go to File, Make a Copy, and then on your own copy, you're going to make it public on the web so people can see this. Now, it's a little bit tricky what I'm going to show you next. I need you to listen carefully. Your data is actually coming from your teacher's spreadsheet here on this test column, which I'm not going to show at this time. But on the student tab at the bottom, you'll see that every student has a unique uh, what's called student reference number. Now in the example here that I have, we see the student Jamie, who seems to be student number 16. And what I want to do is, uh, if I'm Andy, I want to filter for my data. Now, student number 3, you'll see, you might think you might put in here, but actually you don't. If you click here and you put student point zero zero three uh, what happens is it screws up the spreadsheet because this is not how the spreadsheet is pulling in data so I'm just going to go back and change that what you're actually going to do to change this is on the spreadsheet you're going to click up here right underneath this function symbol here the FX and when you do that it highlights the entire sheet and just to go back here student Andy is student zero zero three and once I've clicked that, you'll see up here is the formula. And the formula is where I'm going to make that slight amendment. So right here where it says student 0 0.017, I'm going to click there and go student 003. And then when I press return, we should see in A1, student 003 pops up along with Andy and all of his data. This data will also update in real time as your PE teacher edits and changes and inputs this from the third to fourth quarter on the spreadsheet, but now you have your data for reference. Welcome back. In the last tutorial, what I did is I showed you how to filter for your own personal data in the function box here. And in this next tutorial, what I'm going to do is show you how to embed these charts in your PE sites. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show this with the new form of Google Sites and also the old form of Google Sites. But the, I'm a student here, and let's say my name is Andy, and I have this data that is pulling from this data that my teacher, Mr. McKelvey, has. Now, how to do this is this. Uh, these charts you can update in here, right here embed in your site. So I'll do this with both uh, the new form of sites and the old form of sites. Uh, here I am. And I'm going to go down to where it says uh, insert over here on the tab. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom where it says charts. Now charts is actually going to pull off a spreadsheet. So the first thing it's going to do is it's going to be looking for spreadsheets that you've recently worked with, in which case is this. So I'm going to select this. And I'm going to go insert. And I'm just going to insert there. So there we go, and there's my chart. Now, it's slightly different on the older form of sites. Uh, here's my old form of sites, I'm in editing mode, so I'm just going to go to insert, and I'm going to go over here where it says chart, and like before, it's going to ask me uh, what spreadsheet contains your data. So since it's my PE exercise data, I'm going to go select, and then from that it's going to ask you what chart did you want to insert. Uh, you can give it a chart, a name, um, and also some customized width and height to weight uh, ratios. And I'm just going to hit save. <clears throat> so now that I've done that, uh, what I can do is then look at how my setups change over time. So right here we're filtering for Andy, and uh, I'll just kind of put theoretically how this might look. But uh, these charts will update as your PE teacher enters data uh, into his spreadsheet, and that will automatically push it over to you. So here's Andy, and let's say that uh, Andy, by next or third quarter, does 60 push-ups, or I'm sorry, 60 sit-ups. Um, if I go over here to Andy's data, we can see that this bar chart is already updated. And if I just refresh my web page here and also here, we'll see that the charts are also reflected in Andy's portfolio. So this is just a nice way of automating data so you don't have to go back and enter a lot of things in. It's actually just one person entering it in, and you have that for reference, and you can reflect on it periodically over the course of time. So that's it.